Hey guys and welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 news update video and this update is a bit concerning about the Scarif update. Of course the Battle of Scarif update which was supposed to release in mid-April which is now basically this week has been unfortunately delayed again. Yes, it has been delayed again. EA Star Wars came out a couple of hours ago and tweeted, Attention players, the Battle of Scarif update in Star Wars Battlefront 2 and its accompanying community transmission will be delayed to later in the month of April. Thank you for all your patience and support. We're excited to share more news soon. So yes, unfortunately the update has been delayed until the further until the end of April. Uh, so there's either two days it could come out. It's either gonna be the 22nd of Wednesday, which is next Wednesday, next week. Or of course it's gonna be the 29th, which is, you know, basically or it's the second last day of April. Be to be realistic, I would expect it to be come out on the 29th and not next week. That's just me, me being realistic. Um, I think as we all know now, more re being realistic is a bit more of a chance of when it's gonna come out. As always, I would think it would be coming out on the Wednesday anyway, so that's my guess. Um, again, that's not confirmed, but that's just my guess. It'll be coming out on a Wednesday, as the updates usually do. And of course, the community transmission will be coming out either the day before or, you know, a couple of days before or the day before the update actually does due for release. But yes, unfortunately, there's some sad news about that, guys, but, uh, you know, there's not much we can do about it. As long as we know what's going on, which we now know, that's all I care about. I don't care if the update's delayed, just as long as there's some communication there. It, I gotta say, the, I've got a video coming uh, going about over this, guys, soon, but the lack of communication has definitely taken its toll on the game. And, you know, it's only been, what, a couple of weeks since Ben has stopped being community manager. And I've got a bad feeling about the future of this game. Um, there has been some tweets, though, and I'm going to go over them in a second. So if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz, and let's get straight into those tweets. So Ben was asked, when the CT actually does get released, will he actually be able to say anything about it? And he said, yes, I will respond to the best of my ability. I'm still in touch with the team, still know the ins and outs, not like I've done a Yoda and gone into exile. So yes, if we need to ask questions when the CT does drop, guys, Ben will be there. Um, of course, he did write the CT. The CT he is already written. It's already there to go. It's just waiting for approval. And at the moment, with everything that's going on in the world, with this, uh, you know, great, uh, to be called a uh, virus that's going on, it's a bit sad that a lot of industries, not just the gaming industry, but a lot of industries, my industry that I work in myself, it's all getting a bit pushed back. It's all getting, you know, delayed. A lot of delays happening. Uh, you know, definitely not as many people working, you know, a lot of people having time off, which they can't, you know, really help. You know, everyone on the team is working from home, and of course, it's a lot easier to work in the office. But when you're working from home apart from each other, of course, it's going to be a bit delayed. It's going to, you know, you can't communicate as well with each other. Now, Kevin, who has been asked a lot of questions about the update, has come out on Twitter and said, I'm not the CM for Battlefront 2. I may have assisted Ben with his work, but my role is different and doesn't allow for that stuff. Not responsible for the release of it. If there's any news, go to EA Star Wars. Now, I actually have asked Ben, um, I tweeted to Ben uh, earlier today to see if he's actually going to keep, if he's actually going to release the CT, as he said before. Because, you know, it only feels responsible. He did write it. It's his last CT. He should be the one who actually, you know, delivers it to us but boy the way that everything's going that Ben's even saying go to EA Star Wars I don't know if that's gonna happen anymore we'll have to wait and see now he goes further on to saying I may be a stopgap while replacement is found but not in this way I'm community interaction sure but on the certain things and it is my isn't my place to decide when stuff goes live I help construct the visual CTs but that's pretty much exactly what he does for the CTs that's all he does is the visual stuff so he may be as he may be a not a replace. He's definitely not a replacement for a community manager, but he's there to fill in the gap while they actually find one. So what does this tell us? A one, they are definitely looking for someone. They're looking for someone for a community manager role, and if they're doing that, why would they end the game? I think a lot of people are taking what is going on at Dice, and you know, with the delay of this update, a bit too seriously. Of course, with everything that's going on in the world right now, you know, it's expected that you know stuff is going to be, as I said before, delayed, a bit slowed. If this virus wasn't happening, guys, if this was, if what this global pandemic wasn't happening, I'm sure we'd already have the Scarif update, and we'd probably be almost close to the mar to the April update as well. Of course, we're not going to be getting an April update. It's going to be a March slash April update. So, I would expect an update every two months at this rate, um, considering what's going on. But again, we need to know more information. Of course, we don't know any more information other than uh, uh, we don't know anything that's coming out after the Scarif update. So again, we have to wait and see about all that. 
Now, of course, a lot of people are asking questions about the CT and, you know, are really hounding the developers and this is just not on guys. If you guys are one of them, stop it. There's nothing they can do about it as we discussed in this video. Now, he set, goes on and says, asking me on every tweet isn't gonna make, do anything. I'm not responsible for it. My role is different and I'm not your CM. I have no power in leasing or giving updates on the status of a CT. I simply design them. So again, guys, don't go hounding them. They can't do anything. We just have to wait until the CT actually gets announced. So that's all I got for you today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Again, the update and the CT are delayed until the end of April, guys. So just keep an eye out, guys. I'll keep you informed for any news content that comes out in the future. So make sure to subscribe for more content. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, may the force be with you all. Always.